Hi everyone, it's Mindy at Scrap Till You Drop, and today I have a package to share. Um, this package is from Rosie, and she is. Uh, let's see if I can find this here. Um, her YouTube. Here's her YouTube. Let's see if can, oh, it's not going to focus. It's N U N J A I. I don't think um, that she posts any videos yet, but I'm hoping that she will. <laughs> anyway, um, I met Rosie through, I believe it was your paper pantry, and I posted an ad to sell um, <clears throat> some Copic markers that I had. I had duplicates. And uh, she bought those from me, and during our correspondence, she asked me if I had any greeting farm. <clears throat> stamps and I told her that I did and so she asked if we could do a swap for some images and I sent her one of each of <coughs> excuse me can't seem to clear my throat uh, I sent her one of each of the the images that I had and they never showed up and so I, I messaged her because I never heard from her and she said no you know they never came and so I, um, I sent her another set and then she got both of them on the same day I guess there was some postage due which is strange because I weighed it and everything but anyway she got the images and she sent me this package and I will admit that I peaked um, <laughs> I had to take my daughter to the library and I didn't get a chance to open it while I was at home so while I was in the car waiting for her to get her books um, I peaked <laughs> so what we have here is now this is the only thing I knew I was getting because I had asked her if she had any of these newsprint bags and she said she did and that she would send me some so got those and then must be an easier way to do this and then this is it looks like it's from Creative Memories and it's a little bag so that's really cute. I might stick that on my desk and stick stuff in it. Um, and then here are some chipboard letters that spell out my name. She gave me all the letters for my name. Very cute. And they, these brads, these are so awesome. I don't know if you, how well you can see that, but they're um, Rusty Pickle ABC Brads. Super cute. I don't have anything like that, so that's awesome. <clears throat> and then there's some Making Memories paper clips with felt flowers. Some skeleton leaves. You can never have too many of those. And, oh, and then she has a note in here. I really appreciate you sharing your stamp images with me. I hope you like your goodies. <clears throat> and then this is some trim. Wow, this is really cool. I don't know how well my camera's going to pick that up. But it's like a beaded trim, and it's orange. And I think this would be great for my Halloween mini that I still haven't started on, really. Just too many swap projects going on right now to really get going on it. And then I got some beads, which is great because I'm always making something with beads. And then she gave me this. This is so cute. I think I'm sure she made this herself. <clears throat> it's a little stick pen, and she's got like a satin flower with a, a button in the middle and she stuck the pin in there very cute I love the colors so pretty and this charm it's got you know, the camera doesn't want to focus sorry guys <clears throat> and then there's this memory plate it says heritage treasures what values are made of very cool. I love metal embellishments. 
Oh, some cute little lace flowers. That looks like she made those herself with the buttons in the middle. Very cute. And a petaloo. <clears throat> Plain and simple magnetic purse card. Oh, how cute. It's a card and it's in the shape of a purse and you can alter it. Very cool. And then we have some Making Memories letters. Those are always useful. And then <clears throat> some cards here. Oh, wow. That's cool. It's like a put your picture in there and then you can it's got self-adhesive strips around it and then you have a frame. And then there's another frame and an envelope. Very cool. Thank you, Rosie. I didn't expect so much stuff. I just gave her a couple sheets of paper with some images on it, but very nice. Thank you so much. And then while I'm on here, I wanted to show you guys some stuff I've been working on. <clears throat> I know I haven't posted a video in almost two weeks. Well, it's been like a week and a half because last weekend I went up to my mom's and so I kind of lost the whole weekend as far as crafting went, but I had a good time with my mom. And she took me to this really awesome store up in it's in Redding, California. It's called the Bead Man. And it's just a bead store. And it's just got tons and tons of beads and beading things and findings and everything. Which is great because I was looking for um, some head pins and eye pins and jump rings and stuff in antique copper. Because I'm in uh, Reagan's Swap. It's a Tim Holtz Swivel Class charm swap where we make the the charms and swap them and then we put them on our swivel clasps and this month it was antique copper was the the color so <clears throat> so this is one of the charms I made we're, we're each making two charms for four partners and I don't know if my camera is gonna focus here oh there we go that looks a little, little bit better and so I found these, I went to, I know in my last video I said it was going to be my last haul before the Scrapbook Expo, but Michael's was having their bead week where all their beads were 50% off and it's still going on. So I went last night and picked up a bunch of beads because, I, I mean, you can't beat that. It's like two bucks for most of the strands of beads that I bought. So, and I found these copper wire beads and I'm going to pull in close and see if it'll focus. Oh, I hate my camera. <laughs> I'm getting a new one with my Christmas bonus, I swear. But uh, anyway, um, and then I got these these little spacer beads that are kind of an antique copper. And these beads I had already, and then I picked up these brown beads because the um, the theme is supposed to be like fall. So that's my first one. I haven't done my second one yet and I haven't figured out how I'm going to package them yet either so I will show that in a in a future video um, and then I'm also in Allison's pen swap and she is um, oh and and Reagan who's doing the swap she's Amora designs on YouTube and then um, Allison at 1966 Allison um, I'm in her pen swap for um, November and we have to make three pins for six partners and so these are my pins let me use this so maybe you can see this better I don't know why my camera won't focus but anyway there's a it's a shame too because these beads are really pretty there's a clear bead at the bottom, there's a round flat bead in the center, and then there's this really cool, let's try this, yeah, it's just, I don't know if it's the light or I'm moving too much, but anyway, you get the, the idea, you can see the shape of the bead on the top, 
And then this one is really cool. I love these beads I found. They're these round beads with a hole straight down the center. And then I stuck a bead in the center. And then there's a small bead on the bottom holding it all together. And those are flat also. And then this one. Let's see. if it's my lighting because I, I I've done other videos where it focused but anyway there's like a saucer shaped bead black bead at the top and then there's a silver bead here pearl bead and then there's another kind of saucer shaped silver bead here and then um, a small black bead at the bottom and I, I have an idea of how I'm going to package those, but I haven't done anything with it just yet. I still, these are my, my prototypes, what I call my prototypes. Um, what I do is I figure out what my design is going to be, and then I make the rest of the pins. So I have all the beads set aside to make those pins, all the pins that I need to make right here. And, and usually I can just sit here and crank them out pretty fast, so... But it's the packaging that takes a little bit longer because I have to figure out what exactly I'm going to do. So once I get everything packaged up and get my second charm made for the other swap, I will do another video and show you guys. And I might have some other stuff to show you too because I am in swaps up the wazoo this month. <laughs> I just really, I signed up for a bunch of swaps. So I got to get on it this weekend and really crank them out. So... Um, so that, I believe, is all I have to show you today. So thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.